Now, after a year of non-collaboration, UTLA has again been approached for support of the district's request for a waiver from compliance from state law. As before, our inclination is to be supportive of the district in addressing its fiscal challenges. But after a year of non-communication and ever-increasing manipulation and days of funds to the detriment of teachers, students, and programs, we're hard-pressed to identify a basis for support of the district's position. Obviously, we would like it to be otherwise. Thank you very much. Um, are there any questions on item 15? Yes, Ms. Flores Aguilar. Uh, I'm Superintendent um, Cortinez. I'm concerned about this item. I'm, I'm not as much concerned about the waiver because I understand the fiscal issues, but I'm concerned that we haven't seen, maybe it's developed, but we haven't seen a longer term plan, a more strategic plan of how we will address the equitable funding issues so that we're serving the adults and the high school students and not pitting one over the other. So can you tell me if you know if that's in the works or, or what is our strategy to address this issue rather than just going for a waiver to try to address our fiscal issues? Mr. Morris, can you respond specifically? Yes. Good afternoon. This is Ed Morris from the Division of Adult and Career Education. Uh, we do have word that uh, Warren Furitani is going to be introducing a bill. I don't have language, but as of yesterday, my understanding is that Mr. Furitani is going to be introducing a bill that addresses this issue. We have done our part, that is the division. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm equally, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you to direct better and more effective communication, but I don't know that, that we're in the loop. I mean, the, the expectation here is that we move to serving 90% students and 10% adults, yes? That's right. At a time where the investment in adults is so critical for, right. for the workforce, and you and I are on the same page on that. But I'm not getting a sense that we have a, a clear goal and strategy to try to equalize that we're serving both our students and adults in terms of a longer term strategy. I feel like we're being responsive and reacting, reactive to this legislation and this request, but not clear that we as a board, as a district, have a clear direction of where we want to go. Mr. Morris, I, I could be wrong and I probably am. Uh, but I believe that Mrs. Flores is talking about a strategy of, uh, of, uh, of where we are as it relates to the future, both for uh, high school students and for adults, uh, and, uh, and priorities, et cetera. Well, and now more than ever with federal stimulus funds to try to reinvigorate the workforce if the adults and the parents are not prepared in this district, I, I'm not sure that we're going to be any better off in terms of the economic well-being of the families of the children that we serve. Yep. I agree with you and, and I do believe that uh, that was a major purpose of the stimulus bill was uh, to, cre to, to create a better workforce and certainly uh, the vehicle is through our training and adult education centers. So uh, it is something that I will take up with Mr. Morris, uh, and uh, we will give you a timeline on when the board can expect something from us. I uh, but I want to make sure uh, that, uh, even though we may not agree, I want to make sure that communication is ongoing. We have to, as the superintendent said, bring everybody along for the ride at the same time so the communication piece is there. Dr. Vladovic? Thank you, Mr. Cortinas, uh, for uh, saying that you're going to give us a plan, and, and I hope that plan includes a, a, a significant amount of communication with not only parents, students, uh, the teachers, because I'm perceiving that uh, not only do we not know the plan, we don't know the existing situation. I mean, right now we're at 62% high school students. Last year we agreed to be at 70-30. And, and, you know, we're not meeting that. I just want to see a plan, but a plan that includes beyond the formal Article 30, true communications with all so we can move forward in what's in the best interest with our children and our adults as one family. 